Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the John Ollie shampoo and shave creams. These are really cool because they come in this block shape. This is shampoo. I know, it's really weird, but it's really cool. The really great thing about this company is that all of their ingredients are completely organic. There are no chemicals in any of their products. So this just has essential oils in it like peppermint and eucalyptus. So it's really good for your hair, it's good for your scalp, and you know, you're not putting chemicals on your head, which is soaking into your brain and you know, it's just, it's not good. This is a quote from their website. We formulate our products with only the safest ingredients available. We ensure ingredient safety by reviewing the guidance and research available from EWG's skin deep database, the European Commission testing database, and the cosmetic ingredient review. Our ingredient list will link ingredients to the description page for you will find a link to its EG. It's a really cool database where you can look up ingredients that are inside of this. What sets this company apart from others is that their products aim directly towards athletes, so they really help strip out any kind of sweat and chlorine from swimmers' hair, and it's better quality than the chemically, like, chlorine removal shampoos, because this stuff is all natural and somehow gets everything out. I don't understand it. I don't know why more companies don't use these ingredients, but it's incredible. <laughs> So you just treat this like a bar of soap, you get it wet, and then you just rub it on your head. I tried rubbing it in my hands and then lathering it into my hair, but I didn't get enough product in my hair and I just felt like I was kind of rubbing it wet hair. Nothing really lathered up and got bubbly. So I took the block, got it really wet, I literally put my hair into the water so it was soaked, and then I started rubbing it in my hair, and that works really well. It really lathered up, and then I got it to feel like I had just put liquid shampoo in my hair. And then when I went to rinse it out, every inch of hair on my head was squeaking. It was so clean, and stripped of like all the chlorine in my hair. Sometimes with shampoos, you know, you'll get it a little bit squeaky near the roots, and you're like, oh yeah, my hair's clean. I have never felt my entire head of hair that squeaky clean in my life. I love this stuff. It was absolutely incredible. I've never felt that ever before. Back when my hair was like this long, I used this and I was still able to lather it up all over my head. They gave me four different products. The Top Control Shampoo, a Peppermint Cocoa Shampoo, and a Shave Oil Block. So it's kind of a coconut oil type block that you get wet and then it lathers up on your legs. Kind of like rubbing conditioner on your legs for shave cream. If you guys have ever done that before, I've done that. I'm being texted. That would be Teodora, who you guys have seen in my videos. I do wish that they somehow could come out with a conditioner. I mean, they did come out with a shaving bar, so it is moisturizing. I just felt like all of these amazing ingredients stripped my hair and made it so clean, and then I had to go use a conditioner just from the drugstore that I had, and I just felt horrible using the conditioner because I was like, but it's such good ingredients and then now I have to put the conditioner on my hair. You know, I just felt like it kind of counteracted each other. So I'd love it if this company could come out with a conditioner. That would be incredible and I would definitely buy it. They gave me a really cool travel case right here. I just went to Zones in California a few weeks ago so I brought these with me because I love it so much and it just pops open and inside you have the things and I just use this so it's kind of wet and like stuck to the lid so you know ignore that. So here's the only negative. I had to cut the blocks into usable quarters so they would fit in this case because if you were to put this block in here it doesn't fit. Why would they make the blocks too big for the travel case? That part I really did not understand but I love this product so much that I was just like you know what whatever I don't even care I just love it so much. I got the biggest kitchen knife I have. I got it really hot to see if it would help melt through the product when I cut it that way it wouldn't crumble everywhere and it kind of worked and then it didn't work for the rest of it so as you guys can see it kind of crumbled when I cut it but I did save it all. Another thing with this giant block size is it's kind of hard to hold and use especially when your hands are slippery you can't really get a good hold on it just because it's kind of big and it doesn't really fit in your palm. So you'll be holding it, either lathering it in your hand or up on your head and it can start to hurt because it's just really big, it's not very ergonomic. It does make your hand ache a little. I wish they would make it more of a bar of soap type of shape, but then it also wouldn't fit into this case. So they could make it a little thinner, I think, and then it would fit in here and it would be a little easier to hold. I put the crumbly bits after I cut it into a bowl and then put it over hot water to see if I can melt it and shape it into the shape that I want. Or, you know, at least get the crumbly bits it's melted back in together but it wouldn't melt I mean it got a little soft but I tried stirring it around and it just didn't work so it gets soft in the shower it lathers up but it doesn't fully melt so you can't reshape it yourself it's not a huge negative I absolutely love this stuff I'm gonna keep using it I've been using it this is definitely a hot product I would totally recommend it to you guys the links to this will be in the description box below they also have an Instagram which is John Ollie Co and I will be tagging them in my Instagram post for this video too their stuff is really 
amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! Our ingredient list lists... Oh, list. I can't talk or read today. The ingredients to description pages where you're... Oh my gosh, they said ingredients like three times. I can't say that. Every inch of my head of my hair. Cut the blocks into quarters. Yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I already said that. Um, I'm getting... I'm confusing myself. That... Oh, what? what am I doing? I'm like... Uh, wow, I completely confused myself at the end.